<laughs> albums did that did that get Richard Die trying? Obviously, there was a movie and everything, but it must have sold 10, 20. I mean, how many? How well, many it's definitely it, 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 yeah, it's in, in excess, way in excess of 10 million worldwide. Wow. And that doesn't happen anymore, folks. I mean, that's never going to happen again. Like, you, you won't see that. You will not see people commonly selling 10 million records. And think about the cats in the 70s, like the rock bands in the 70s and 80s that were like putting out albums like Chicago with like, <laughs> they sold like 70 million records. It's like uh, unbelievable the economy of music, how it was uh, back then. And obviously it's changed. We're not going to have time to get into the new economy, but obviously you work in the business still. You've done so many influential things over the years, not just 50 Cent. I mean, we're talking about Source Magazine and Shade 45 and all the different outlets and aspects of the industry. It seems like you, you're a jack of all trades. You've worn all the different hats. Uh, how are you able to successfully do that? Um, you know, I've been very fortunate. And, uh, you know, you have to be uh, willing to evolve, change, and, and not sort of be, be put into one, one hole. You know, and, that, and that's a metaphor for hip hop too. I mean, yeah, you embody yeah, the, like the thing that made hip hop uh, so successful. You embody that yourself. Yeah, so, um, I guess it's a combination of sort of wanting to to stay ahead of the curve from a tech, you know, from looking at the landscape because I was looking at the landscape while I was at Atlantic, and file sharing was, you know. Uh, it was starting to, it was, it, it was for real. Like, yeah. Um, LimeWire and, and Napster. And, and, and this, this idea that, that this is our industry and we control it. It's like, uh, you know, some little 15 year old in, 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 in Sweden just cracked, you know, whatever watermark code that you thought that could, could protect your product. And, and you're going to have to rethink what you're doing real soon. Yeah, um, and and so the, so it started to suffer. So the Shade Forty Five opportunity was obviously for me. I was like, yeah, this this is this is a great time to do this because I don't want to be on the label side anymore because it's you know they're about to be on the skids, you know. So and then uh, you know being at 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 uh, Shade, which was amazing, and then uh, being presented with the Apple opportunity where it was like, yeah. This, this, you know, these guys over here think that this streaming thing is not going to be potent, and I'm, I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet on uh, what, what, I'm going to bet on Apple. I don't think they're going to go belly up anytime soon. No, you know? I think your track record speaks for itself. I'm picking winners. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, like, well, uh, you know, I'm sure guess, there's some losers maybe when along it counts, the way. But, uh, I'm you sure know. there's some losers along the way, but I oh, mean, if man, you a few fucking just, stinkers. Look at the discography. <laughs> It's like from the very beginning, it's like winner, 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 winner. Lots of chicken dinners in your lifetime. We're going to have to do this again, man. Uh, yeah, but a lot of like that... and saltines too, you know? But <laughs> it's like, and it, this is like with the record business, you know, uh, for every sort of like, you know, you need you need a Taylor Swift for every like, you know, Smith and Wesson. Sure. Mm -hmm. To pay to pay for that, you know, to pay because because there's art and commerce, and and that's yeah. been my biggest uh, lesson that I've tried to, and and I'm I keep on learning because you know at my core I'm you know I'm I'm not biased, but it's just like like what I like, right? And right. that's usually like things with like that sort of edge, and it's not uh, pop commercial. I'm I'm a pro artist person and you know um trying to find that to make art and commerce coexist uh it's has been drake, the most the difficult challenge up, the guy that we brought up before drake seems to have found that balance i mean I, how long his rot, reign of terror will continue will remains to be seen but it mm. seems like he's figured out how to do both <laughs> you know oh, yeah. he, he's got pop tracks he's got street tracks he'll jump on this guy's track he's he sort of has no he keeps he he's, he's got a good team around him too you know yeah, that, exactly. that that uh he keeps an eye on on trends and things that are happening and um you know he's plucked a lot of these like you know regional things and and For and sure. jumped on it because he knew that it would be a good look 
Yeah. He's very he's very smart and and his he's got a great team around him and um you know strategic and uh you know and and is able to not take himself so seriously. I, I mean, this is a guy that like survived what would have ended anybody else's career in hip hop. I mean, he's what, like, being, on, being on that TV show. Well, not just that. I mean, first of all, coming back from that, people who say started from the bottom, he didn't start from the bottom. Well, he really did. If you think about it, this is a guy who played a character on a Degrassi TV show that likes had to overcome that to get taken seriously. But also the, you know, the exposure when he was exposed with uh, that guy who's doing the, the demo recordings and whatnot, like that type of stuff would have ruined somebody in the nineties, but that who cares? Different rules now. Years. Say what? Yeah. But Different I mean, rules at the same now. time, yeah. you know, there's always been collaborators and co-writers oh, and, and, I know and things that. like that. You know that. But I'm saying if you were growing up, it, I mean, so, all right, say in the nineties, like, uh, I can't, you know, let me just. Karis one had a ghostwriter. Yeah, it would be horrible. A big song out and then you'd be the all, uh, end of the world. And get on the guide track for him. Karis would have been done. So it's like, that, that's how it was. End of the world. Anyway, as much as I mean, I, look, I, 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 and, and I'm with you guys, guys, right? Like the idea, you know, purist, right? Yeah. So, for sure. so the idea of, of having to, you know, fly, send out a, a, a kite to get some help or something it's, it's sacrilege like you're a real mc you write you know you just you know, you know yeah. like you know, really but, but, but in like pop that. music pop music you know historically it all it is, is 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 you know the artists weren't were not or seldom were they the songwriters as well as 100%. the performers 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 